Today I'm reviewing a product uh, by the name of Handy Heater. There it is. It's advertised on television, but you can pick it up in local stores. I found it at a Walmart for about $30. It's advertised as a space heater that plugs into the wall, and its features are that it has an adjustable timer from 1 to 12 hours, high and low settings, and you can set the temperature you want. So what I've done is I've plugged it into the smallest bathroom in my house and I've set it a couple of degrees warmer than it is in there to see if it can actually raise the temperature of the bathroom by a couple of degrees. That bathroom is, is very small so if it can heat a room up to 250 square feet it should have no problem heating a very small bathroom in, in a short period of time. So it's been in there for about 15 minutes and I'm going to go check and see if the temperature has raised in the bathroom at all and I'll come back and check. I'm getting nothing on the handy heater. It appears to have completely shut off. Um, it's only been here 15 minutes. The temperature in the bathroom did not raise two degrees. I'm gonna see if I can raise the temperature even more and see if it kicks back on. Okay, so it, it did kick back on. I'm thinking that maybe the internal thermometer might be off a couple of degrees because it shut off what it said was 80 and my thermometer said 78. So I cranked up to 85 to see when it kicks off. Okay, so as an update, I went in the bathroom and it had shut off. My thermometer said it was 78 degrees in the bathroom, but the handy heater had a reading of 80. So I don't know if maybe the internal thermometer is off or if it just keeps shutting off. So I raised the temperature and it shut off again a couple minutes later. So then what I did was I put the timer on for one hour and raised the temperature into the high 80s and it seems to be staying on. So I'm gonna see if that particular technique works. There is some sound with handy heater. It sounds kind of like a hair dryer on a very low speed. Obviously on the high setting, that's gonna be a little bit louder than the low setting. The rotating prong, it doesn't have a full 360 range of motion it basically has two positions one way or 180 degrees so you couldn't put it sideways and have it locked in place there's a lock that you push in and then you rotate it and then when it goes to one of the 180 degree positions then it relocks there is a very slight smell kind of what you would expect from a hair dryer uh, it does it almost seems like a, a, an oversized hair dryer that plugs into the wall it doesn't seem like a space heater but we'll see if it works as advertised I've got it in there it's set to 88 degrees and with a one hour timer and it seems like the bathroom may have increased in temperature to 79 degrees by the time I left so I'm going to give it about 15 more minutes and see if the temperature raises and if the handy heater stays on. Well it's been 15 minutes and the handy heater has shut off again. I have it set to 88 degrees and a one hour timer and I only show it being 79 degrees in here. I'm going to try it uh, in a different space. Maybe this is too confined with a wall and the, the medicine cabinet next to it. So I'm going to try it in a different area and see if it doesn't shut off like that. I can feel the heat. It's pretty warm up until about, about two feet away. I really don't feel it anymore. One more uh, issue that I should point out is that when the fan shuts off, the heating element stays lit. It's still red hot and the fan's not blowing. That cannot be a good sign. You would think the heating element would go off first and the fan would continue to blow to cool it off, but that's not doing that. It's still, it's still red hot. There's no fan blowing. I will say that it does emit some heat that's probably sufficient to warm a small space. The controls seem a little bit confusing, like um, 
the high and low don't always seem to work so when you turn it on it starts off at 85 degrees and on uh, high speed and there are times where it doesn't seem that the low will work while other times low does work it does seem to shut off I don't know if it's overheating or if it thinks that that's if that's just the way it's supposed to work but it does shut off regularly um, and I don't know if that's a a defect in the unit that I received or that's just the way it's designed. It doesn't say anything about that in the instructions. The instructions do say that Handy Heater has a built-in timer that will automatically turn the unit off after a set amount of time, but it doesn't tell you what that time is. It does say later that it will shut off after 12 hours. I'm not sure if what I'm experiencing is related to this automatic feature that turns it off after a set amount of time. So I would say the Handy Heater is probably not as efficient as other space heaters even though it might be more compact and plugs into the wall, uh, I'm just not convinced the design and the construction are really up to the same standards of other space heaters that I've looked at in the past. I suggest buying it locally so that you can evaluate it and if it doesn't work for you, you can return it without having to pay any shipping or processing and handling costs. Personally, Handy Heater would not be my first choice of a space heater. If you use Handy Heater, Tell me what you thought of it in the comments below. Handy Heater is distributed by Ontel Products and it is made in China. If you like this review, I would appreciate a subscribe. Um, this is a new channel for the Freakin' Reviews Network. So um, any support you can have would be greatly appreciated. Any requests for reviews, I would be happy to hear as well.